Today I will return to my E-Flight RV7 and the float modification I done. So the first video I, I had, I just uh, flew this one on ice and on snow. And I think it just performed well. I did add a little bit of nose weight just to have it balanced. Um, so it's time just to get this one uh, flying off on water. So let's go outside and, and try this RV7 with floats. Time to get it up in the air. Pushing full elevator, and we're up. So, uh, Flat up. there was a bit of water splashing before I got up. Let's see how this one performs then. Usually I think this is a really fun, easy flying, and um, plane you can do lots of aerobatics with. Just trying to keep this plane quite close and just make tight turns. I mean, it rolls nice even with floats. I think it looks just uh, fantastic, this RV7 with floats. As uh, with almost all radio controlled planes, then. Surely, when I just push the throttle, it responds really well. Easy to do loops as well. Just uh, using a rather than to kick this one around in the turns, just make tight turns. There are some birds that are interested in, in what I'm doing. Just try to keep them uh, out of the way. I think this one performs really well. I mean, I did the ice flying then, and uh, it worked just fine. But you never know when you have something on water, just how it is to take off and how to land. And I mean, it was a little bit more difficult than usual, I think, because the forward uh, mounting points then from the floats, they are angled towards the rear. And I think I have to do some modification just to adjust the angle on the floats and compared to the wing. Just to have it uh, being easy to just get up in the air. I'm doing kind of a sh short flight today just to test this combination then. Just to make sure that everything works as it should. The float set then it uh, is a float set that comes with, for instance, the uh, Super Easy from FMS, and I also think that it's the same float set that is included with the FMS Ranger 1.2 meter. And the advantage of the float set from FMS is that you do get a servo to control uh, the uh, water rather than, which I think is a really important feature on a uh, water radio controlled RC plane then. I mean, no problem just to flying this one tight and doing uh, kind of fun stuff. And I think that uh, during morning time this is a really beautiful lake to, to fly. I mean, I have a kind of a tall wall with trees um, in my back. Just vast space then in front of me. Really nice colors also. The trees and, and the blue and the really nice sky today. So let's get this one down. Let's try to make it as smooth as possible. So last turn then before I Get down. It's always just good to have kind of a landing pass before you 
or about to land. Yeah, kind of smooth landing also. So this modification surely works on water. Now I have the landing gears and the forward piece uh, just angled towards the rear and uh, there is just a little bit of concern because um, uh, there are just kind of a splashing from the, from the floats then. They just hit the prop a bit. So you have to have this one, you know, to get it going a little bit and then uh, it just takes off really easy. Uh, but you do have a little bit of water splash um, hit then on the prop. So that's something I, I just have to investigate and just try to figure out if I can solve it in a better way. And I can also just uh, adjust these landing gears so that they are angled forward. And what happens then is I do get the flows a little bit forward. So that will surely just help a little bit to have less, less um, splashing than water splashing on the prop. But as far as balance, I think it just handles fine. Uh, it is a little bit more sluggish than to fly without floats, of course, because they're adding a lot of weight to this RC airplane. I think it's a really beautiful modification and when uh, about to land, you more or less just uh, can almost just kill the throttle and flare and it will land in a really good way. I also have water rudder of mine, so this is hooked up to the channel 5 on the receiver and I set it up so when I have the rudder, uh, the, the, the water rudder turns uh, just as the rudder turns then. Uh, so this is an interesting modification. I do have to just to come back to this RC plane and experiment a little bit more uh, because this is not, it's not the perfect as it is. And what I would like to do is probably some sort, uh, try, to, try to shorten like the rear braces for the floats then because then I have a higher angle on the RCR plane and I will probably have um, just get rid of the kind of a water splashing and hit then on the prop and and certainly it will take off easier so that is something I will look into if I can just make these braces the rear braces shorter that would be a really <laughs> interesting modification uh, but this is RC7 it's just a fantastic RCR plane I think it looks nice uh, with the LED lights especially and just overall a, a one of my absolutely favorite RCR planes so uh, let's get back to this one another time and just experiment a little bit more with the RV7.